Hi, I'm Patrick Vaughn, The Unlikely Preacher, and this is The Unlikely Minute. Today we're joined by Dr. Craig Barnes. Craig is a Presbyterian pastor, my professor, and he is now the president of Princeton Theological Seminary. Craig, thank you for being with us. Honored to be with you. Craig, throughout your ministry, what changes have you witnessed in the life of the church? Um, when I left seminary 35 years ago, everybody pretty much knew what church was. Uh, all the Protestant churches were relatively similar. If you go to the worship services, they weren't that different. They were all governed pretty much the same way. Um, and they all had similar missions, um, similar self-understanding. And even if you didn't go to church, everybody knew what it was. Uh, it was that place down there on the corner, and they, they do things on Sunday morning there, and there's some good people there who do good mission work. And, um, and all of that seems to have um, kind of gone by the way with modernity. And now there's a lot of confusion about what church is, there's, even inside the church. There's confusion. And, it is, and church is not just that thing on the corner anymore. Churches are happening in very informal, unofficial uh, ways. Uh, they're not co incorporated bodies. They're people who have a coffee shop, and then before they open it on Sunday morning, they get together and they worship. Uh, it's people who, uh, one of our alums bought a catering business in North Carolina and Raleigh, and nobody wants uh, the catering facility for a reception on Sunday morning. So in addition to running this, this catering business, and they do have this beautiful reception area for weddings on Sunday mornings, they have church. And so he's running a 501 free in addition to a for-profit business, and that's church. And that's very creative. So I mean, we're, we're hearing more and more of those kinds of stories. Um, some others of our alums had a business plan, again, the coffee shop, approach to the inner city, and they were going to just run the church on their proceeds. And then after it's up and running, then they're going to go to the presbytery and ask to be adopted. But they're not waiting for the presbytery to plant the church. And that we're seeing, hearing more and more of those kinds of stories as well. That's a radically different model than what we saw in the 50s with the presbytery taking the leadership right. and trying to establish churches. Yeah. Even the students that we have... Uh, currently, who are still here on campus, are very, very creative in their thinking about church. They, they know that the church is changing dramatically. They know that there aren't a whole lot of jobs available out there for people right out of seminary. And so the thing that they talk about the most is church planting. Hmm. But again, they're doing it in very unique entrepreneurial ways. That's wonderful to hear. Craig, thank you for being with us. I'm Patrick Vaughn, The Unlikely Preacher, and this has been The Unlikely Minute.